My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got one good looking 1969 Chevelle right here and it has a built 454 big block overdrive automatic, custom suspension and brakes, body off frame restored. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can take your time and study the pictures and read all the information. You will also find a price tag on all of our collector cars we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoy the videos. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon because you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, what a good looking car. Done in garnet red, but actually what you don't know, there's metal flake in the paint. You don't even really see it when you're inside, but when you go outside, you'll see the sparkles. Um, and the big chrome wheels. Uh, I think this is just a good looking 69 Chevelle. So the body was off the frame. The frame was stripped and powder coated on uh, all new body bushings when it was set back on. Underneath the car is solid metal. It's been undercoated. Uh, suspension up front's all rebuilt, ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks, and it's upgraded with big fat tubular control arms, upper and lower. Uh, and it has the red polyurethane bushings, a fatter sway bar. Uh, rear suspension's all redone. It has boxed upper and lower control arms, new bushings, new springs, new shocks. Also, uh, they added a sway bar in the back. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still spotlessly clean. Uh, it has a chrome flywheel cover, and then it's upgraded with a 700R4 overdrive automatic transmission. Uh, it has a 12 volt rear end with a 390 Posi gear in the back. So this thing will light them up at the stoplight if you want it to. Uh, upgraded brake system throughout. Uh, I don't know if you can see, you got red calipers and there's drilled and slotted rotors at each wheel. Custom exhaust sounds great. You'll hear it towards the end of the video, but big fat pipes, has a crossover pipe, has Flowmaster mufflers, and it has the original uh, SS style tips coming out the back as well. Uh, fuel system's all new. The tank was replaced, has braided stainless fuel lines. Uh, so there's a lot of parts and components underneath this car that are new. And our turntable wants to be creaking today for some reason. So the body, now that I'm up on it, I can see the glitter in the paint. Just enough to where someone's going to notice it and be like, wait a minute, that looks good. Uh, so the body is real straight, even along the bottom. I see it's all nice and straight. There is no damage, no rust. There is a little chip right here on the edge. This is all straight and beautiful. Yep, there's the metal flake. I just caught it in the light. Uh, the gap's a little bit bigger than it should be right here, but everything is straight, no rust, no damage. There's a little nick down at the bottom here, chipping the paint. All this is nice and straight. Couple little chips on the edge of the hood there, or door I mean. The hood sticks up just a touch. Might need a new hinge or adjust the hinge to go down a little further. Uh, and I'm pointing this stuff up because you might be the next uh, owner of this car and I don't want there to be any surprises. It has the SS hood, no emblems on the side. Just a nice clean look. They replaced the marker lights, all the trim across the front, the bumper, the grill. And you know what else is new? They just added. It has some nice custom LED headlights in there as well. So the chrome uh, grills are new. All the stainless trim is replaced. Windshield's new. Actually, all the glass was just replaced in the car. Uh, the rain gutter's got some dents. Whoever put it back on used a hammer and left some dents in the rain gutter there. Door handles and mirrors were replaced. The rubber window seals were replaced. There's a little nick right here, a small one, and a little one right here. Vinyl top uh, looks new. They did put a tint on all the glass too. Uh, the rear trim is real nice. 
and back, the tail lights, the bumper, emblems, the trim, all that's been replaced. So uh, let's talk about the wheels since I mentioned them earlier. They're Riddler wheels and we hit, they're on Nitto Performance tires. They're 18 inch in back, probably 18 inch in front too. Yes, they are. But you got a fatter, wider tire and rim and back. So let's open it up and see what we got under the hood and inside. All right, let's see what we have in here. Looks like nice, clean, solid metal with a coat of spatter finish paint. Uh, there is a new stereo system, including a kicker subwoofer. Now, under the trunk lid and the jam are painted real nice and glossy, and it has a new weather strip as well. There's about two or 3,000 miles on the car since it was built. We'll check the odometer in just a second here. Uh, but the door jams are painted real slick. Bottom of the doors are clean. The weather strip is replaced. New door panel, armrests, window cranks, handles, all that looks new. Now the dash pad has been replaced. Looks like the entire instrument panel is replaced. I want to show you the gauges. Uh, we turn the key on. They're nice custom gauges including the clock and tachometer. There's 2,884 miles since this car has been built. If you follow me over here, it's a new uh, heater control panel, a Bluetooth stereo. There's an amplifier up under the dash. We have kick panel speakers, and we have, uh, I assume there's speakers in the back too, six by nines. Beautiful wood rimmed deluxe steering wheel on a tilt column. Uh, the carpet looks new. We have embroidered floor mats, uh, a new B&M ratchet shifter on the floor, a new set of reproduction GM seat belts. The seats have been reupholstered. Seat belts in back, new upholstery in back as well. Um, headliners replaced. There's a couple things that are buttoning up. We got new window cranks to put on. We got to finish the dome light, but the headliner's new. The visors are new. Also, the uh, pillars on each side. Those are actually in the trunk. Mirror is new. Uh, the trim across here is new. The vents are new. A lot of, a lot of new parts. There's a few it looks like they're still putting on. I uh, probably should have waited till that was done to do the video, but I didn't know they were still working on it. I'm going to turn off the car. And them LED headlights are nice and bright. So we do have a Performance 454 big block. It's got four bolt mains. It's got the big port heads, Edelbrock intake. It's a new 850 Holley. A dual feed carb, MSD, HEI ignition system, the fuel line regulator, all that's just been replaced. Some nice tall valve covers. I know they say 502, but it is a 454. That big set of headers, new chrome alternator, power master alternator, it needs to be wiped off. We got the billet brackets and pulleys with a serpentine belt. Uh, chrome power steering pump. We've got an upgraded aluminum radiator underneath this cover with two big dual uh, electric fans. It's got a bit of uh, a performance cam, so you have an extra vacuum canister because the cam doesn't produce uh, enough vacuum for the power brake. So there's an extra reservoir uh, power brake system. I can see the steering, the the joints, the knuckle, that's all been replaced. Under the hood's painted real nice, just has some water spots need to be wiped down. We got a pretty healthy motor sitting right there.
right, so there you have it. We have an exceptionally sharp looking 69 Chevelle frame off restored, a lot of upgrades, a lot of new parts. Uh, looks like it needs to run back in the shop. They have a, a few little things finished on the car, which we will do. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. Good looking car. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. They'll answer your questions for you. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon because we get all sorts of unique and exciting cars. That way you'll be notified as they're posted. Thanks for watching.